<laughs> like, was there, was there any crazy formalities? No. Was there anything un-Islamic about a man approaching a, a, an adult woman and saying, I'd like to consider you for marriage, I'd like to speak with your family, in a dignified way? He's not saying, hey, what's going on? Like, what brings you to this conference? Like, he's not doing that. He's just talking straight, dignified. I, you know, would you consider the possibility? And she says, I might. Talk to my family. No problem. Now, we have some very, mashallah, religious families. Some, some people came, they're at this program. Some girl is going back to the parking lot. Some brother comes up and says, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, can, I under, can I get contact information for your family? I'd like to approach them for marriage. And she says, hee hee, here's the number for my dad. <laughs> and she gives him the number for her dad. What just happened was haram? What just happened was evil? And if the guy sees someone he likes, and he approaches her in a dignified way, this is something new. This was happening in Medina, guys. This was happening with the Sahaba. But now in an overly conservative family, if the girl comes home and says, I gave this guy a number, he'll be calling you. That, forget about animals being zabiha. <laughs> That girl is done. <laughs> she is done. <laughs> because that's haram. Astaghfirullah. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Oh my God, the day has come. My worst nightmare. My own daughter. Giving somebody my phone number. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. We should have never left whatever country you came from. <laughs> we made the avenue for young people to get married. The, the, the halal roads, we closed them and pretended like they're haram. And no wonder they're online. No wonder they're finding other avenues. No wonder they're involved in relationships they shouldn't be. We push them in that direction. We never let the halal door open. We closed it. And, and, and especially those that consider themselves very conservative family, they closed it. They closed it. We are more religious than the Sahaba. It's amazing, you know. So this is, when you close that door, what will happen? Fitna will happen. Some of the worst things I've ever seen, I've seen in Makkah. Worst things I've ever seen, I've seen in Makkah. Why? Overly conservative society. A woman can't even walk into a restaurant. There's a side, like, you know, animal entrance for their, you know. Seriously? When you do that, what's going to happen in that society? <laughs> Those men, those young men of that society will never know what it means to deal with a woman in a respectable way. Because they never dealt with a woman. They've never dealt with her. These girls will never know what it means to deal with a man. And then this, this, this boy that's always been away from women, and this girl who doesn't even know what a man is, one day, qabiltu, qabiltu, nikah is done. And literally, you know what I describe? A hungry lion that's been kept in a cage and a lamb that doesn't know anything about a lion. And then you close the door, inna lillahi wa inna ilahi rajiun. That girl will be traumatized for life, honestly. She'll be traumatized for life. What did my parents throw me into? And that boy has no idea how to take it easy. He, do he doesn't know anything. He was never taught the ethics of you know, engagement with the opposite gender.